Okay, a lot of you have been asking me about what program I've been using for my avatars. And it is Face Rig. You'll see it on the top of the little eyeball. Um, I bought it off of Steam. It was like $14. Um, and then if you want to use the pro version, you know, for YouTube licensing or whatever, you're going to want to buy the pro version. That's how they get you. It's usually $70 if you buy it while it's on um, sale. is a lot cheaper. It's like $30. So I recommend waiting for it to on sale, but if you can't wait, you want this to get the way I know you guys have been asking me. A lot of people have been wanting this, so I'm going to... We're going to run it on OBS. If you don't have OBS, then this tutorial is not for you. But we're doing it on OBS right now. In OBS, you can stream it from Hangouts, YouTube, um, Skype, Messenger, whatever. This is the best program to use for streaming. And uh, hangouts and stuff like that. If you want to use an avatar instead of your instead of your face, um, so go to OBS. Now, right now, I have it on display capture because you know I'm trying to show you stuff. So if you don't do live streams, I mean, if you do live streams, then this is for you. But if you don't, you can add an image you know, as your avatar background since you're on green screen. That's fairly easy, so I'm not going to show you that. You just go to image, click OK, and then any image you want will be your background instead of the desktop background. So I'm not going to get into that. I'm going to get into how getting rid of the green screen if you want your own background for YouTube, Hangouts, whatever you want. You know, I love, that's why I love Face Rig, because you can literally use it for anything. And then I'm going to show you how to get a virtual camera also. So, stay continued. Um, you want to go, go to video capture device, click OK. And then you want to go to your Face Rig. Because that one, this one's my regular camera, and these are the OBS push cameras that are in the tools over here. So, you want to click face rig, click OK. And then go to the plus sign down here and hit chroma key. And it's going to take away all the green screen that was in the behind the character. And you can put it whatever you want. You can resize it. Take out the whole screen if you want. Make it small, you know, for your your gaming gaming stream. Have it on the side. Like it would be a regular face camera for streamers. Um, so yeah, that's about it for that part. Now... I'm going to leave a link down below so you can have this plugin. This is virtual camera. Okay? That's going to be down below if you want to have it for Hangouts and Skype and all that stuff. So, hang on, I'm trying to think. Um, so, we're going to go to YouTube and I'm going to show you why getting the virtual camera is important you want to have it on auto start if anything else matters these are just the different cameras you know i still i you just click start and it'll start going for you so that's if you want to do skype and um messenger you know and all that stuff if you want to show them your avatar so i'm gonna go to actually Hit Chrome instead because it would be a lot easier. So I want to show you how to do Hangouts. 
actually, I might do it. I could just show you on my actual hangout. So you want to click Hangouts. Okay, see my maker is like a bunch of was over there. But we're just going to test this. So when you go right into, you know, an empty chat, it should start right away. Whoa. I don't know if I can show you this because it's going to freaking whatever. But you want to hit OBS camera when you do that because that will generally put the 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 Skype call or whatever you hang out you want that OBS camera as your camera so then it, that will connect to the thing this is strippy I shouldn't have done that but you get the point so it's just as easy as that if you want to do, you know, stuff for hangouts and stuff, you know. But, yeah, I'm going to end this video. Thank you all for watching. I'm glad that you all enjoy my avatars. You know that I've been on forever Freaky Funko's live stream earlier and and the one I, I've i been doing on my channel. Um. I want to do experiment with more, you know, they're lots of fun, I have a lot of people that are into them, and it's, it's really cool, so thank you all for watching.